So uh, the next coin uh, for discussion is uh, XRP. Before I actually get into that, I want to direct your attention to the Epic Street YouTube channel. Uh, if you like the content that we put out and want to stay connected, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. Uh, if you like what I do, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mangeko with the zero at the end. So uh, back to XRP, the last time me and John discussed this was on Tuesday and in that session, I kind of expected the, uh, XRP to kind of stabilize between 0 0.98 and 1.01. Uh, but as you can see, the, the recent crash, flash crash, if you will, due to the, uh, the corona induced flash crash uh, has pushed us straight below 0 0.98, 0 0.922. And not quite, but we have initiated the liquidity collection down here, which is kind of in a way, excuse me, which is kind of on the way right now. So uh, what do I expect? Uh, pretty much the same as I expected with Ethereum, which is a, a good reaction off of this uh, and then move higher uh, to 1.01 .01 resistance level. And then depending on how the market structure remains, you know, for Ethereum and Bitcoin, uh, if Bitcoin kind of tends to go higher, uh, probably near 60K, then I can, then I'm going to expect uh, the uptrend to resume, or probably collect, uh, probably go to 1.07. That seems like a good uh, target, considering how we haven't swept the Monday's highs on Bitcoin, uh, which powers around 59,422. So, if Bitcoin manages to bounce off of the current level and proceeds to go near 60K, then I'm expecting XRP and Ethereum to do something similar, which is uh, bounce from this uh, crash. As for XRP, the first level that I've been looking uh, closely is 1.01. .01. This will be followed by uh, 1.07. And in an extremely bullish case for the short term outlook, uh, I would be looking for one point for a retest of 1.16. So this is uh, from a slightly bullish perspective, uh, but from a bearish perspective, as you can see, there's tons of liquidity resting here. And that's that's what I'm expecting uh, Ripple to do, uh, dip into this level here. And to be more precise, <clears throat> excuse me. This one day chart for XRP is pretty good. So as you can see, we've slid below this support level here, 1.01 .01 to 0 0.96. And what I'm expecting next for uh, Ripple is to go straight to 0 0.8416. Uh, this support level is pretty uh, important. As you can see, uh, Ripple has been conforming to this uh, ascending channel. And so far it's tapped just once, twice, thrice. And right now this is the third one. So. Suffice to say, we have a good support here. Uh, so a trip down to 0.84 level uh, is not on the cards, at least for now. Uh, I'm expecting a short-term bounce after this uh, flash crash, something like what happened here, but not to this extent. Something like this, though, uh, sounds reasonable enough for XRP right now. Uh, in that case, then uh, Ripple could come down here to 0.84 and then make an attempt to move past this support zone here, like I explained earlier. Uh, I don't see, so, so uh, my bullish uh, target for XRP seems to be capped around 1.07, which is somewhere around here. Anything beyond that, I don't see it happening. I don't want to predict it right now because the market is too volatile and it's uh, indecisive right now. So that's my take on XRP.